I'm finally back after taking some time off to be with family and just in time for St. Patrick's Day. Green is one of my favorite colors so I had a lot of fun with this look. It's super dramatic and glamorous and I feel like I'm serving up some poison ivy realness right now and I love it. So if you want to know how I did this look then please keep on watching. Okay guys let's get started. So I'm starting off with a completely bare face so I don't have to worry about any fallout and I'll just put on my foundation after doing my eye makeup. So first thing I'm going in with is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and we're just going to use this to prime our eyes. So for this look, I'm going to be using the 35B palette from Morphe, and I'll be using these three shades right here. So going in with the lightest shade first and this big fluffy brush, we're going to blend that into our crease. And you're just going to keep building that up because this is going to be our transition shade for all of our darker colors to go on. Next we're going in with that second shade and a slightly smaller blending brush. I want these colors to be pretty saturated so I'm kind of pushing it into my crease first and then blending it. And then in between each one I'm going to kind of use that big brush to blend everything better. That way we don't get any harsh lines and it just stays really soft. Then with the same brush I'm going in with the darkest green shade. And same thing, I'm going to start by pushing this into the crease and then I'll blend it out after. Then I'm going to take a flat shadow brush and go in with that darkest green shade again. And this time I'm just patting it onto the rest of my lid. Next I'm going in with Max Fluid Line in Black Track. And I'm going to use a thin, flat shadow brush. So you don't want to put a lot of product on your brush because I'm going to be putting this on my lid and we're going to try and slowly blend it up towards our crease. So this is where it's going to get a little tricky and you need to be careful and work slowly. So you're going to start off at your lash line on the outer corner and push it in first. Just very lightly, not going too crazy yet. And then I'm going to start kind of just tapping it upwards. And then I'm going to blend it out with my finger as I go. And with this, it's definitely better to start out with less product and use more as you need it as you go.
Now, as I get up into the crease, I'm going to use my brush to kind of help blend this out a little bit. And we're going to put color over it next, but I just want to soften it while it's still just the eyeliner. Then before I put shadow on, I'm going to put a little bit more on the outer crease and on my lash line. And just kind of blend that out. Next, I'm going to go in with a flat shadow brush and that darkest green shade again. And now we're really just going to pack that onto the lid over the black. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller tapered brush and go back in with that dark green shade. And with this, I'm tapping this into my crease to help blend out that line. Now I'm going to go in with the dark green shade and the black shade from the Morphe palette and mix them together. Then with just the dark green shade on my fluffy brush, I'm going to blend that out. And while blending that, I'm going to go in with that big brush and blend it out with this one as well. Don't be worried if you feel like it's looking a little too messy right now because we're going to be wiping away any excess product. And just keep blending that until you're happy with it. Next I'm going in with the Sephora makeup remover and wiping away any excess eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to go in with Lime Crime's Diamond Dew in the color Dragon. And I'm going to apply it using a flat shadow brush instead of the applicator it comes with. I just feel like it's a little bit easier to blend that way. And I have a little bit more control over the amount of product I want on my eye. So I'm packing it on the inner lid and then I'm just kind of tapping it out when there's less product on it to just blend that out. And tapping it up as well. I really don't want any super harsh lines in this look. And just add more product as you go. that's so pretty. I actually saw a lot of mixed reviews on this product online and so I only started out buying the one shade because a lot of people said they weren't pigmented and that there was barely any glitter but I'm happy with them <laughs> honestly and they're not too wet and sticky and they were easy to blend out and yeah I'm probably gonna try some other shades from them because yeah I liked it. <laughs> All the complaints that I saw, I'm not dealing with right now, so maybe it was user error? I thought it was pretty easy to work with and pigmented. Because I wouldn't expect to not put these over eyeshadow. Um, I think these are meant to kind of take a matte eyeshadow and make it sparkly with a similar shade. Are you really starting to knock things off my dresser? Next, I'm going to go in with Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper to line my lash line.
Next I'm going to apply my foundation and my eyebrows and we'll come back for the rest of the eyes. Next I'm going to go in with these two light shades right here and highlight my brow bone. Then I'm going to go back in with the MAC Black Track and put that on my lower lash line. And I'm just using the same brush as I used on my lid and just kind of tapping it on there. Then I'm going to wipe off the excess and just kind of blend this in. Then I'm going to go back in with that small tapered brush and smudge it. Then I'm going to go back in with that dark green shade and we're going to tap off the excess. And you're just going to pat that on at first. Tapping off the excess and patting it on first will avoid any more fallout. And you'll just keep repeating that until you are happy with the darkness of it. And in between I'll tap it and then I'll blend it. And I'm just going to keep building on color and smudging it out to make it nice and smoky. And from here you'll be connecting it back in to up here. Then I'm going to mix that dark green shade with the black and pat that on the outer corner and kind of bring it up and around. And then just smoke it out. Then wiping off any excess, I'm just gonna smoke that down. Next I'm going to go in with Max Pigment in Vanilla. And just using a small brush I'm going to tap that into my inner corner. Next I'm going to go in with this Eye Magic palette and I'm going to use this gold glitter shade right here. And I'm just going to be putting that in the inner corner as well. And I'm just kind of slightly blending it into the green and bringing some of that gold glitter into there. Next I'm going to go in with the MAC Black Track and just put that on my uh, waterline. So I'm going to go ahead and contour and highlight and put on mascara and falsies and we'll be back for lips. Okay guys, so for lips I'm going in with Kat Von D's liquid lipstick in the shade Ludwig. Okay guys, that completes the finished look. Now I know you're gonna hit a point in there where you're like, oh my god, my eye makeup looks so ugly because almost all smoky eyes hit an ugly stage before being finished, but bear with me. I hope you guys have a lovely St. Patrick's Day and feel smoking hot with this look and be safe and don't drink and drive. And if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Mm -hmm.